fossil fuels is a non renewable source of energy so after few more days we are going to depend upon renewable source of energy so the main renewable source of energy is solar energy so solar energy light so until sun exists we can derive energy from sun isn't it so how what is the device which convert light or sun energy into electric current so in near future it's so completely depend upon sun for our day to day use instead of depending upon electricity whatever we are going to get from our power supply maybe thermal energy water energy which is converted to electricity will depend upon the sun so how this sun energy is converted what are the devices let us discuss so light as you know it is composed of tiny packets of energy called as photons so these photons can be converted into energy so how can it can be converted into energy so solar energy it is the main source of renewable form of energy so the device which converts these photons or solar energy into into electrical energy are known as photovoltaic cells or pv cells or solar cells but usually they are known as pv cells let us see the importance of pv cells so the solar energy is being unlimited and renewable source of energy so the pv cells are eco friendly or the energy obtained from the photovoltaic cells is eco friendly pv cells provide power for space crafts so when satellites goes and launches a space craft the function is functioning of this is very very important isn't it so how the space craft work even that also required power we cannot directly uh, give a connection like this from here to this uh, satellite there or space craft there right or satellite so what does it do it will go and open up the wings like this so on this wings you have a uh, solar panels since there is no day and night 24 hours sunlight falls on the solar panel and electricity will be generated that energy will be used up for the satellite to function so therefore we get i mean satellite will function 24 bar 7 and this solar energy or the pv cells are the main source in railway signals road signals street lights etc so in this some remote areas such as your uh, uh, what uh, forest areas the solar energy or the pv cells is the main source of energy so during conversion of solar energy into electrical energy does not pose any pollution problem so therefore it is eco friendly so your pv cells does not have any moving parts and hence there is no problem of wear and tear and pv cells generate electrical energy at ambient temperature and pv cells can be used as a roof integrated system in my first slide you might have seen that is roof integrated system so preventing overheating in uh, summers and due to that you can generate you can you can self sustain right instead of depending upon someone else for electricity you can depend on your own so pv that is roof integrated system so they can also be used in transport also okay so these are the importance of photovoltaic cells now let us see the construction and working of pv cells so these are uh, i mean the raw materials as you know it is used silicon silicon is very abundantly available and uh, other things as already told it used in traffic uh, traffic lights and it's also used in calculators domestic domestic electrical appliances etc so let us see the construction and working of our pv cell so pv cell are devices which convert light energy into electrical energy so pv cell acts as a semiconductor diode so metallic grid forms one of the electric contact and allows to light to fall on the semiconductor and the reflective layer is coated in between the grid lines which you can see the anti reflective layer so which increases the light transmitted to the semiconductor so when the light falls on the if this is the uh, pv cell so when the light falls on the same uh, pv cell light should not be reflected instead the light should be absorbed and the entire light whatever falls should be converted into electrical energy 
So in order to prevent the reflection of light, it is coated by anti-reflector layer. So the other electrical contact is formed by a metallic layer which is behind the PV cell. When light falls on the PV cells, so what will be generated? Electron hole pairs will be generated at PN junction. So electrons will drift and collect collected at P type, whereas N type is rich in holes, therefore holes will get drifted and collected at N type. When the two ends are connected electrically, the current flows to the external circuit. So thus obtained current is called as photovoltaic current or PV current. Okay, this is the construction and working part of our photovoltaic cells. So you know that N type is rich in holes and P type is rich in electrons. So it is very clear why it is electrons rich and holes are, I mean, why it is H plus rich, right? So next, what are the advantages of this PV cells? This is environmental friendly, it is eco friendly, no need of charging, do not corrode, operate at low temperature, no emission, no combustion, high public acceptance and excellent record, low operating cost, no moving parts and no wear and tear. So especially this environmental friendly because even though during the operation it does not have any uh, harmful products emitted. Light falls on the PV cell and electric current will generate because of PN junction movement of electrons towards the PN junction. Okay, and there is and it is uh, it is economical except the uh, what initial setup except the initial setup co cost it is economical and does not have any moving parts. So these are the advantages of our photovoltaic cells. So let us see what are the disadvantages. High installation cost, energy can be produced only during the daytime. So only when sunlight is falling towards the uh, PV cell, we can withdraw the current. So once the sunlight stops falling, we can no more withdraw the current. So unless sunlight is falling, the PV cells will get activated, there will be electron hole pair will generated and it is interconnected, electrons will move, uh, in will, uh, in, uh, holes will move and we can move, see the movement of electrons. Once it is, light is not falling, we cannot withdraw, it is during night time, we cannot withdraw the current. But nowadays we have batteries and we can store the energy, right, that is there. And sunlight is diffuse source.